what turns an expat into almost a dog on heat the way he chases women uh, this percepts well this has happened to several guys I know that went to the Philippines with their wives they would never been to the Philippines before and for whatever reason they decided we're going to spend a bit of time in the Philippines as a couple etc and within a short period of time they started going off the rails first thing you've got in the Philippines is these guys are 23 to probably probably 38 40 so they're, they're in a medium age group um, so what they've got is they're quite young compared to the majority of expats the next thing they've got is some of them are fitness instructors some of them you know they're, they're quite healthy they're quite uh, active etc so they're in good health the, the local community see these young males that are presumed to be rich because they are in Asia and they're white etc um, not that I'm saying it's just white guys it's just that these guys just happen to be white <laughs> um, but the whole perception is of wealth and obviously they've got youth on their side so they get a lot of attraction from the local women I'm not talking uh, the old smart or whatever these they've got women actually approaching them I mean I've had it myself and my friend James has had it where he'll be sat having a cup of tea at the restaurant his wife used to work at and the women in there will actually go and shoo women away from bothering him that happens a lot in the Philippines I've had it in the mall walking along somebody's come along and started I'm like I'm just waiting for my wife just leave me alone it's quite common and the problem you've got is you imagine this guy um, come out of US Canada UK whatever the the Western women are often the other way around they're quite aggressive in negativity let's put it this way um, they're not normally that forward once they hit that sort of age group they seem a bit more I don't know it's one of the puzzling things of the West at the moment so when they get to the Philippines they're getting probably one one or two women a day hitting on them and it's something they're not used to but not only is it something they're not used to if you're not a hundred percent committed to your marriage or thinking you know what I'm in paradise here I, I could you know have the uh, playboy lifestyle then this is where things can get badly go wrong and I, I brought it up today relating to another thread about uh, relationships regarding a guy that was womanizing and there was a conversation basically going well hang on a minute but what it takes two two people in a relationship the guy goes to bar girl and um, bars picks up girls etc he's not a good guy but he's whinging because his wife took him for the house and emptied the bank account I have no sympathy for the guy whatsoever because she committed to the marriage she was doing everything that she was expected to do the guy actually openly admit that he says I can't help it I love girls and it's like well I don't even want to talk to you I, you're an idiot it's as simple as that you don't engage in a marriage and then turn around and complain that your wife isn't putting up with your womanizing and going out partying all the time that is not marriage that, that's there's no commitment there they're actually creating the problem that's actually bringing the marriage down and into pieces but anyway I just thought I'd give you a bit of a perspective that Western guys go off the rails sometimes purely because of the amount of women that will actually approach you I mean it's very blatant in the Philippines mm -hmm.